Alright, so what are we doing here? Who are we? What are we? What's going on? Well, let's explore some more of this secret world. Open up a, a can of whoop ass on the world here. So, this is about where I left off last time I played Secret World. I have this character here named Grummet, and he's in the Illuminati. And he uh, started off in uh, New York City, and uh, I don't even know where he's at right now. I don't know what he's doing, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna play as this guy. I have not played this guy in maybe like a couple of years, so I don't even know um, what's going on with him. But they have updated the intro user experience of um, Secret World, so we're gonna you're gonna check it out. I am gonna check it out. Let's make sure we get in a little bit of the music. I may have turned it down. So. It does take a little bit of time for it to load lately. I will be upgrading my computer here shortly and um, maybe we'll get better better looking graphics and whatnot in the near future. So yeah, so we start off in New York City um, with an Illuminati character that I made a long time ago. I can probably go back and, and look at YouTube and figure out when the last time I played this character was. So it looks like we're actually inside the uh, facilities here. Mm. The Illuminati guards in here. The shop right here. I, I yeah. See, here's the problem. I don't know what half this stuff does. So, although I do know that there is a um, you can do this thing called Animal Leap to go from place to place, and uh, it it costs it costs money in the game. But there you go. Is this an exit? Can I get out this way? No. Okay. So, yeah. This is the Illuminati's little uh, headquarters. So, is this the way out? Yeah, I think this is the way out. I think. I don't know. I haven't played my Illuminati character in so long. I have really no idea. Yeah? Okay. We have discovered the warehouse. Oh, this is the same warehouse where the... Okay. How did I not... Okay. Alright then. Is that another player? Yeah, it is. How come I doesn't have his name above his head? Alright. So... Is that even an Illuminati player? Okay, that is an Illuminati player. So this is New York. Um, as you can see, I'm getting messages from a PvP zone somewhere. So what do I need to do? What do I need to do here? There's a... I'm going to buy it. Do I have any... Do I have any money to buy hot dogs? No. Okay. Sorry about that. Had to sneeze. Um, that does happen sometimes. But yeah, this character doesn't even have any money. <laughs> so, how do, how does this character get a get by in life? I guess. Can you use that. This is like uh, it's got pictures and stuff in it. Let's see. So this is one of the. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, you can talk to him. Let's 
See, it might not be up loud enough. Ow. Oh. Let's turn it up a little bit here. Uh, master, yeah, it's way down. There we go. So, yeah, you can close that by clicking it. Uh-huh, yeah, it's been real. Alright, so... I'm not exactly sure what that noise is. Oh, civilian, can we talk to her? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she just yawned at me. That's That's nice. Hang on a moment here, viewers. Hang on. Sorry about that. Alright, so... I'm not sure if I have it on this character, but there are certain things that you can collect. Little things. Little doodads and whatnots. But I don't, I don't know if it's like... Yeah. So... I want this guy to look a little bit cooler, but he has no money. Absolutely no money. I don't see little things to collect. So, uh, oh, you can talk to the civilians here. So I guess the uh, order of the day would try to get into the places where you can actually do quests and stuff. But for right now, let's see, that's a modern Prometheus. Uh, you can change the way you look here in this particular city. So what can I do? What can I do? I have a menu. This is uh, not the um, default UI. This is like a, a UI I downloaded. So let's see, assembly. I've got an assembly thing. Hmm. I don't have any inventory, do I? Nope. I probably don't even have any way to attack. So, find and enter the test chamber. Alright. I think that's what we gotta do. So I'm just running outside, not where I'm not supposed to be, I guess. Oh, here we go. There's a lore piece. The buzzing. Oh, right. So that goes down to um, Ag Agartha, I believe it's called. I don't really need to go there yet. It's basically like the, the waypoint for everywhere else in the game. I have to find my way back to the place I was at. So, can I hit X? Yes, I can sprint. Okay, so I'm going to sprint. You hit X, you can sprint. Uh, okay, so th that number down there is actually what I need to be doing. I need to make my way over to that number over there. Fair enough. Because I haven't even unlocked any of my abilities or anything like that yet. So, that's what we do. That's what we do. Oh, right, that's why I had that like that. Okay. To the test chamber. Do you want to enter the test chamber? Yes. Do I want to enter the test chamber? No, not really. All right, now what? Uh. Okay, combat holograms. Oh, this is where you choose your uh, thing. I guess we talk to, oh. I guess it does it on its own. Does 
he have the Illuminati symbol carved into his hair? For those combat holograms. This is obviously Kanye West. Right, so you get to pick two weapons. So I forgot what I was going to make this guy. Um, Holograms. So, I guess you pick um, two. I mean, at, at first it wanted you to pick one weapon, but I think they may have changed it to pick two. can continue to ask him questions about it. So we have shotgun, we have assault rifle, we have pistols, those are all fun. We have blade, uh, fist weapons, hammer. Is that it? You only get, okay wait there's some over here. Blood magic, chaos, elementalism. So I think choosing two weapons might be good, so we might want to go with, um, my other character doesn't have guns, so shoot, I kind of went with like magic and um, something else, but guns are pretty good range. Uh, I think we'll pick this. Okay. Okay, so uh, it's a major DPS role is DPS and heal. So yeah, it's a good DPS uh, role. So find the assault rifle in your inventory and equip it. Okay, there you go. Sounds good. Target a combat hologram. All right. Now what? Use safety off on the target. Okay, so you get, you know, an action bar down here. It's very simple. You just, bam. All right, and um, I guess sometimes they open other abilities. There you go. All right, return to Director LaGuardia when you have found your desired weapon. Have you, see now it says have you finished choosing your first weapon before you had to find a second weapon but now you get you know both of them uh, all right so choose the second weapon and complete your weapons training so I'm gonna go with a um, my other character has a chaos focus but I think this character will go with an elementalism focus. That sounds cool to me. So. So as you can see, this one is also a DPS spec. So both of these pretty much are DPS. Um, elementalism, you get shock and combust so like this is a builder this is like you build up resources with this attack and you use them like combo points with the other attack 
Very simple. Um, attack a practice target with an ability that builds resource resources for both weapons. So, there you go. And it also builds it up for this. So, that's pretty cool. And also we have a fire attack. So, oh, attack a practice target with an ability that builds resources for both weapons. So, as you can see, if it's lit up, we can use it. Um, these are our resources down here. Now we're out of it. I think maybe it, yeah, it takes two, two elemental resources. So using that will build, yeah, as you can see. Consume resources. Oh, why did it go back to the other objective? I don't know. Okay, consume resources with two different consumer abilities in a row. There we go. Bam. So there you go. Yep. So we've got elemental and uh, assault rifle. Yes. You've earned your first skill points. Alright, where did it... So it says use phone. Oh, did it give me a phone? No, it didn't give me a phone. I don't know. It, it, it kind of gave me a phone. Goal completed. Pick up the phone. So you get skill points and ability points. So to learn more about ability points and skill points, open the ability wheel N. And the character skill window, K. Okay. So N. Oh, a tutorial. Welcome to the Council of Venice Digital Archives, and your online guide to surviving the secret world. Okay. The ability wheel. It's a tutorial. It's the ability wheel. Yes, it is. The ability wheel is where you will train new abilities. Abilities mm -hmm. are trained using ability points. You get additional ability points by gaining experience. Okay. When your experience bar reaches a threshold, you will receive a new ability point. As you train new So you don't really gain levels, you just gain levels and different abilities. There are two types of abilities, actives and passives. Active abilities are triggered using keyboard shortcuts or by clicking the icons on the ability hotbar. Your passive abilities are automatically activated when clicked. Mhm. Mm Active abilities are linked to weapons. You must equip the correct weapon in order to use your ability. You can equip seven active abilities and seven passive abilities simultaneously. Okay. Along with two weapons. Keep an eye on your ability point counter. When you have new points available, you can train new abilities and expand your skill set. Alright. For more information on the ability wheel and abilities in general, Please access the Council of Venice archives. Okay, thank you for that. Alright, so uh, I did pick ranged and assault rifles, so we'll be picking abilities from over here. And I did pick elementalism magic, so I'll be picking other abilities from here just to get underway. So, let's see if I have any equipped passives right now. I have Volatile Current. Whenever you hit with Shock, the target also becomes afflicted with the damage over time effect and extra bullet. Safety Off performs an additional hit that deals 8 physical damage, which doesn't seem like a whole lot. Those are our equipped actives. So, it shows you over here also what you, can, what you have with that particular um, ability and what you can also buy. So down here you see that there's an ability called Mind Over Matter, right? And over here that there's a, a few abilities, uh, one called No Contest. So those are the abilities that we can we can get with that. So the other thing is 
Ah, oh, skills. Welcome to the Council of Venice Digital Archives. Alright, it's gonna show us a and tutorial on skills real quick. The secret world. Character skills. This is the character skill interface. Alright, and this will show you us can different train your weapon and talisman skills using skill weapon training. Points. You receive a new skill point when your experience bar fills up. Every weapon has two different skill paths. Mm -hmm. These will vary based on weapon type. Although damage is always one of the two paths available. Distribute your skill points in order to focus on a specific playstyle. The higher your weapon skill, the higher quality weapons you can equip. You will also need to put skill points into your talisman skills in order to equip higher quality talismans. Whenever you see the skill point icon, make sure to open the character skill interface in order to distribute your new points. For more information on character skills, please access the Council of Venice archives. Alright, so do I have skill points? I have two skill points. So I have assault rifle. Um, I don't know how you can do healing with an assault rifle, but there you go. There's that. So I could put one skill in one, and one skill in here. But we'll go with damage. And uh, give us explosive rounds. So, and then we'll put one skill point here, and it give us the new ability elemental overload. So what we do is we go back to our ability thing. Um, let's see. I don't know where I put those, but okay. All right, so, oh, actually you can just go between those here. There's an ability search page, because let's face it, this has a lot of abilities. Uh, also, there are these things in the game called decks, which are pretty much like, uh, like a path of um, classes. They're basically classes, so yeah. There are no classes in the game, but technically if you follow the path that those decks have, then you'll have your own little class. But you can also, you know, uh, customize it as you want. Alright, so... Alright. So now I get to leave. Are you going to stop talking to me now? Okay. So now I have to exit the test chamber and go, go to meet my primary contact. So let's go ahead and head out. Do you want to travel to New York? Sure, why not? 